never practiced on organized. Maria, your whole life is unorganized. Why did you use packing cubes? Oh. Packing cubes, guys. Packing cubes. We're going on a big, long journey. A whole five minutes down the road, guys. Whole five minutes. So welcome ladies and gentlemen to Centre Parks, Ireland, nestled in the heart of the Newcastle Forest which just happens to be five minutes down the road from us. We spent the weekend here to see could we really justify spending this much money for somewhere only five minutes down the road. Hello guys, editing Katie here. I know I look very dishevelled, it's because I've never found it hard to edit vlogs but this Centre Park series has been incredibly hard to just sit down and get done and I don't know why. But I hope you enjoy it, whether you've just started watching it or you've been following all three episodes. This is episode number three. The other two are in the playlist. And there's also the one of the day pass I did last year in Centre Park. So all your Centre Park's questions will be answered there. A few comments before we start. I just want to let you know that the youngest in our family is 16. Thomas is the baby, but he is 16. So we kind of went in with the idea, is this place somewhere where you have to have children to really get the value for it? Or can you get away with having adults and we also wanted to know who really ran the show was it the people or was it the cyclists and i can tell you for a fact now it's the cyclists <sighs> relax and recuperate in one of ireland's best baths the aqua sauna in center parks all three of us myself my sister and my brother went to the spa together possibly this is the only thing really purely for adults in center parks imagine it hours of uninterrupted bliss no screaming children which in centre parks there are a lot of and no bikes and no bike bells and no here missus get out of the way oh it was bliss we've been here a few hours and my question is being answered slowly that this is a land of the bikes and you will get run over if you're not careful and i don't like it Hey, what's up? I'm Kim Kardashian, and welcome to my crib. Well, at least we got the good weather for us. Uh, 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 you, uh, you've said it now. It matters. Oh, look at that! Look at that fool over there with an umbrella. Oh, oh my God! God. This is ridiculous. So, with the question of does Centre Parks have a nightlife? It is ten past ten, and we're going. And we're home. going to bed. Well, we're going to have a shower first. Separately. Thomas, how do you feel? Grand. Why did you have to specify that? I just felt like I needed to. That's all, folks. Morning, brother. Read the beds out of ten. Hurry. Read the beds out of ten. Seven. Good morning from Centre Parks. I'm walking out this morning to get a coffee and to organize what's um, outdoor activity wise. And yeah, first night was tough. Oh, I ended up sleeping on the couch. Very tired, very, very tired. And I'm just in grumpy mood because none of the clothes I brought actually like suits me, which is annoying. It's annoying, but anyway, I was gonna get on with it. We're gonna, today's plan is all activity based. So majority of what we're about to record you are going to be watching in the Olympics vlog, but we'll do a little bit. We'll show you a little bit of it. The beauty of Centre Parks is I could literally just go home and change my clothes if I wanted to. And um, that could happen, yes. I could go home yet and bring a new change of clothes. It's quite nice to spend time with the 
family here. I know I'm taking, the, I'm joking around a little bit, but there are, it is yesterday now we had lots of stuff to do for the family. And we're a family of 16 and over, so there was stuff to do. We'll see if that lasts for the next two days. I don't, not holding out a lot of hope. The one thing I will say about Centre Park, so that is kind of starting to annoy me a tiny little bit, is the cyclists because there is no system on the road so the roads look like this there's no like cycle lane walking lane which is really frustrating because like the kids all just want to rip they're coming oh my god they're coming if i hear another ding of that stupid bike bell i won't even hear half day lads i'm gonna go schizo Okay, so you've seen the activities that people do all the time. There's nothing mad about it, but then we got to the segways. The segways were something we weren't expecting to enjoy so much. And I can only put that down to the fact that our instructor's name was Jill. I hate to be biased, but Jill is a family friend of ours. And she was instructing us throughout this whole process. And it was absolutely amazing. All the people who helped put those activities together are top class people and they are amazing. And they make it all the worthwhile, really and truly. So yeah, we had a great time with the segway. It was so much fun and really difficult. I didn't realize how difficult it was until we were doing it. The only competition we had was who is going to survive. <laughs> is he the mall cop? He's a mall cop. Maria, do it for family. There's always room for family. You don't turn your back on family. The brother never told you, never threatened a man's family. He enjoyed us. Do you know what? It's actually, I'm glad it's um, Jill because I feel like. No one else would have, like, took me sick. <laughs> they see me rolling, they hate it. For the second night in a row we were back in our cabin by nine o'clock and decided to play some board games highly recommend if you're coming with a family we with only three people though we didn't really get that far with the games but yeah no nightlife whatsoever in central parks so bring your own beer if you want to get hammered day three from central parks and we lost maria because she was having such a dodgy stomach from the bad food which don't worry i am doing a food diary at the end of this i decided to go for a walk again in the morning like i always did down to coffee house this is also a good time to put in some honorable mentions of activities that we didn't get a chance to do because they were in such high demand obviously there's the zip line if you remember from the vlog in the central parks day pass vlog you will know that i did that the last time i was here all of the nature Scary. It was it was There's also some pottery which was fantastic. I was so shocked to see the paint of pottery. It's something you wouldn't think of doing, but it can really get the whole family involved. And I'm really raging that I couldn't get in. Definitely put that on your list for your one center parks. And then Thomas and I began the day with another game of pool, which is always a good show. Guess who won? We're down one valiant soldier. It's just the two of us now. Maria's been lost in a food coma. Well, what are we gonna do? Archery. Maybe. More archery. I'm gonna win this time. Going back to the scene of the crime. And this time, we are leaving no prisoners. I am getting that meerkat in the eye. We're going back to back. We ended our day three back in the spa and although Maria didn't get going, she had organised for myself and Thomas to have a massage. This is something neither Thomas and I have ever had before, but it really helped us. He was feeling the stress after the junior cert. I was feeling the stress because I'm a constant ball of stress and it was just a really sweet gesture for Maria to have done for us. I also want to say that the spa section that we were in was one that we hadn't been in before, obviously with the treatment rooms. There was a post and pre-treatment room 
which I had a nap in both. And it was just an amazing, amazing experience. And I cannot speak higher of the spa and the staff in the spa, but I, I can't tell you without reminding you that the price is fairly bad. So just be prepared for that. Good morning. It is the last day in Centre Parks. We are going to get my car, pack up the house, and then we have a lovely little cock breakfast morning family date in the in the bacon or in the bacon in the pancake factory. So I'm looking forward to it. But I just oh man, the food is getting me. Oh, my stomach is not feeling good. Food, glorious food. We're anxious to try it. And on that note, now is as good a time as any to bring you to the food diary. Now look, we are a very picky family, so take that with a pinch of salt, of course. <laughs> Get that pinch of salt, sorry. Okay, um, we're a very picky family. We're quite happy with a basic meal. I will say that the spa food was very hipster, to see any way I could put it. Bella Chow, the first night was fantastic. I had the carbonara. I would have gone there every single night if I could. Thomas, Maria and Mam weren't really happy with the food. Thomas didn't like the pizza. Mam liked the garlic bread and Maria was happy enough with her spaghetti. Get it. She, I think she had spaghetti. I can't remember. Bella Italia definitely was my favorite of the whole trip. I spent every single morning in coffee house with coffees, and then for lunch on the Saturday we went to the sports bar. Look, I'm not going to say that those loaded fries are the reason Maria was sick and the reason why my stomach was in bits, but hey, put two and two together and you'll get seven. I'm adding in pictures here as well, just so you can see the food. We went on the second night to Cara's. Cara's is grand. Pizza was fine. Garlic bread was fine no issues there really then our third night we went to hooks now it was grand again same as cara's it was a lot of processed foods and then obviously the pancake house we made the horrible mistake of ordering the chocolate supreme thinking that it was going to be just a pancake with nutella and yeah we definitely needed to run off our trip in center parks i've said this in great detail in my Instagram and on my Instagram and on my daily food vlogs that I was doing on Instagram. So many families just brought a load of groceries beforehand and it's something that we definitely should have done. There was a lot of processed food. We should have gotten groceries. We should have cooked at home. And as you know from the cabin tour, if you've watched it, I'll link, I've already linked it in this video somewhere. You don't need to go to all these restaurants. And obviously as well, it's very expensive. So definitely keep that in mind when you're going, especially with babies, it's gonna be difficult to feed them all. But majority wise for picky families, there was something on the menu for everyone, everywhere we went but it was all the same stuff all the time. So I would have loved to have seen a salad bar maybe or a proper breakfast bar. And I'm not a salad girl. I'm not a salad girl, as you can tell. I just kind of would have loved to have something healthy and clean. Do you know what I mean? Some clean meals, but that's our fault for choosing to go to the restaurants every single night. So bear that in mind. Food, wonderful food, marvelous food, glorious food, glorious food. Oh, a few... Um, a few notes. I don't feel the need to make a pair. This is an adventure holiday. You're going to be moving clothes wise. I will bring comfy clothes. Like people were, people, not many people were dressing up for dinner. Like it depends on what your family want and what your family's vibe are really. And there's no dress codes or anything like that. Once you have shoes on. Be prepared for a lot of walking. Or of course, anyone who has mobility issues, they can hire out the mobility scooters. They're quite expensive though. Or you can get a bike, of course, and bring your own bikes. They're very expensive to rent out here. I'll never get over the fact that this is in our local forest. We even do the loop around center parks and you wouldn't even tell that all this is in here. We're very lucky. We use Maria's pass for everything. Um, and because Maria works here, she has her pass. And if you book the activities on the day, we got the activities for free because she's staff, which is great for the staff. However, each activity minus the spa, that's obviously more. We're looking at around 45 euro. Yeah, so if that is true with the 45 euro per activity, we would have been looking at at least 
a hundred and no. So yeah, it's incredibly expensive. Everyone's been joking with me, this is the most break my car has had in years. And it probably is true. But now we have the big job. I gotta find my car. Final thoughts on Pancake House, go. Um, how can you legally sell that for breakfast? Someone's going to die. Oh God, I'm gonna die. My stomach is about to explode. So reflecting on my time in Centre Parks with my family and trying to answer the questions that I had set myself, is it worth it? That really is gonna be up to you and what you want. But I'm delighted that I could have this family time and I felt like my siblings relationship and I became so much stronger again after a year of stress for all of us. I felt like mom got the well-deserved rest that she needed. Although it was only five minutes down the road, it was a break from life, but I did enjoy it. And I'm very, very grateful for the opportunity to get to go. And who knows, maybe we'll go again. Maybe the next time we'll go, we'll have children of our own. Oh God, maybe not. No, no, don't wish that upon me. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you so much for being here for the last three vlogs. Keep your head in the clouds, but always land on your feet. Good night.